Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today we're going to make towel racks and a toilet paper holder using earring backs and a paper clip. So let's go ahead and get started. So I had the earring backs that have that little plastic barrier on them, and I had to remove that. Now this was my inspiration piece. It was a toilet paper roll holder I got in a bundle. So I'm definitely going to make a toilet paper roll holder, but let's go ahead and make the toilet paper first. So I used brown paper bag and I wound it really tight around a toothpick. And then I cut strips of actual toilet paper and bound it around the little brown paper really, really tight. And I wanted to create the toilet paper rolls first so that I have my sizing correct when I make the toilet paper holder. So after I wound it as tight as I could. Now my measuring wasn't precise dolls when I made the toilet paper roll. I already know it's too big so I'm going to just trim it off to make it the right size. And I added a little glue to keep that level of paper on. Now depending on whether you want your rolls to be big or look like they're partially used is up to you. Uh, my dollhouse is vintage, so they weren't making double rolls at that time. So my rolls won't be really, really thick. And I bound it and added another dab of glue. Now, like in the towel video, I did make more than one roll because in a bathroom, you would need more than one roll of toilet paper. So I did make multiples and I'm going to save the extras for other projects. But when you've completed it, Again, add a small dab of glue just to keep it from unraveling. So I've already cut my paper clip into the length that I want, and I'm adding the earring back with the outside part pointing down onto the paper clip. Now you can make your uh, towel rods as big or as small as you like. I'm actually going to make one that will hold two towels, and then another one that's smaller that I'm going to sit next to the sink in the Roman house bathroom. So this is the one I'm making. It's a little bit shorter for the hand towel. It's really amusing to me, dolls, that the earring backs are the perfect size for the paper clips. They fit really, really well. Just make sure you use the Gorilla Gel glue to secure them because the metal needs a glue that will really, really hold because the hole is a little bit bigger, but the fit is still good, if you know what I mean. Now, the backs are like a gold or brass tone, and the bar itself, like the paper clip, is silver. Now, dolls, you definitely can paint them um, either white or black or whatever color you would like, even metallic or the antique gold with the rep and buff. But I'm leaving mine silver and brass. Now, here I am bending the wire, and I'm using like jewelers, pliers, and wire cutters. If you don't have that, dolls, either um, regular pliers or just some regular wire cutters will work. And even if you have some electrical scissors, it will work as well. And here I am again, making the larger rod and adding glue to the tip. Be very careful, dolls, when you're putting it on, not to get the glue on your fingers. I was really having some challenges because, again, I was being glamorous this weekend, so my nails are long. It's a true struggle for a miniaturist who wants to have glamorous hands. So I decided to try to use the pliers to add it to the ends of the rods. And that was working out a little bit better for me. Now with this set, I only used two large um, paper clips to make the long rod, a hand towel rod. And I actually had enough to make the toilet paper roller and another small towel bar that I decided to use for my kitchen. So dolls, use as many paper clips as you like. Your dollhouse bathroom can have as many racks as you want. I just chose to have these three because I didn't want to use up too much of my wall space. And that particular bar isn't perfectly straight, but I felt like in an old rooming house, they may have a bent towel rod. So I didn't think that was a problem. So now that the hand towel and the towel rod are ready, I'm going to go ahead and make the toilet paper roll. So I'm still using the same technique. I'm just making it a lot smaller and I'm going to bend it where it will fit really close next to the toilet paper roll. 
Now, dolls, after you bend that first end, go ahead and insert the toilet paper roll in before you bend that other end. After you get the rod all the way through the toilet paper, you're either going to bend it and trim it off, or you can trim it before you bend it. I suggest that you bend it first and then trim off any excess where it'll be short enough to fit neatly against the wall. And hold it very tight, but don't pinch yourself and don't snip it off too short where it won't give you enough room to add your earring backs as the portion that you're going to adhere to your wall. I definitely suggest if you are going to paint your rods, you do that before you get to this part. Um, paint all of your hardware beforehand and let it be completely dry before you insert it into the paper roll. And after I made sure everything was aligned straight because you don't want it to be crooked because if you do, it won't look parallel when you mount your toilet paper roll to the wall. So take care in time to make all the necessary adjustments before you install your towel rods into your setting. See here, I'm adding the second earring back and I've already applied the Gorilla Gel Super Glue. And here you see me with my needle nose jeweler pliers actually inserting the paper clip in into the back of the earring back. And again, it was a little tedious, but I got through it. And here we have a lovely toilet paper holder. I really enjoy making lovely things out of common everyday household items. Now this one actually, bought all of the pieces turned out to be silver. And I'm going to leave them that way. I'm not going to try to make everything match because remember, the rooming house dollhouse was repaired on a budget. So some of the fixtures may not match. I really like all those little variations. So there we are, a long towel rod, a short hand towel one, and a toilet paper roll. Now here I was making that smaller one with the remnant piece that was left over from the two original large paper clips that I started out with. And I'm using actually the same shaping technique that I use for the toilet paper roll because this is just going to be for a dishcloth next to the sink in the rooming house dollhouse kitchen. So I got inspired dolls and decided to make some dishcloths and dish towels for the rooming house kitchen. So here I go again dolls, trash to treasure. These are some infant socks left over from a visit a long time ago from one of my grandsons. They have both outgrown this size, so nobody will miss this pair. So I decided to use those to be my dish towels and dish cloths for the room and house dollhouse kitchen. So dolls, always keep your eyes out for little stripes and prints that look like they'll fit in what you need. Um, never consider that anything is off limits. But I will suggest that you wait until the children outgrow their clothes before you begin to take them for your miniatures because I don't think things would work out favorably if you begin to steal the baby's clothes. So always wait till they outgrow them. Mm -hmm. So I was using the very same technique that I used for the bath towels for this dish towel and just put a dot of glue to keep it secured on the towel rod. Now, quick suggestion, when you're adhering them to your walls, I suggest you use Gorilla Wood glue. Now, since I'm already in the flow of things, I'm going to go ahead and put my two decorative towels on my long rod. Now, if you haven't seen the video with me making the towels and house slippers for the rooming house bathroom, definitely check out my playlist. It's actually part one of this series with the towels, the rods, and the slippers. So I'm adding a dot of glue so that they'll stay secure on the rod and I won't have a problem adhering them to the beadboard. Dolls, I have to admit, I'm really, really excited about adding all these little details and accessories to the rooming house bathroom. See, these are the types of things that really bring a room to life to make the house look lived in. Growing up, everyone I knew had decorative tiles hanging on the racks but the everyday tiles that everyone was supposed to use were the plain ones. 
So I had to do the same thing in the Roman house bathroom. I think they all look cute. And there's my toilet paper roll. And if you look really closely, you can see some teeny weeny springs. I'm going to use those to simulate hair curlers. And there's my extra toilet paper roll. And I'm just adding a dot of glue to that other tile because I'm going to fold those and put them in the Roman house pantry cabinet. I guess I have to make a video about how I stock that cabinet as well. <laughs> and here I have a whole spare baby sock. So I'll save that for another project. So here are all of my little creations for today's video. I'm really excited. I think I'm going to go ahead and put them in the rooming house bathroom and see how everything looks together. Now, if you dolls enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe, and always look for me on Mondays and Wednesdays after 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As usual, I always enjoy making these videos for you dolls, and I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Again, I can't believe how many of you it is at this point. I am just overwhelmed and so grateful for all of you. And also to those of you who haven't subscribed, but you're watching, I do appreciate you as well. I truly love the way the bathroom turned out. I have so much more in store for you. So make sure you stay tuned so you don't miss the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.